uh, the running back situation would be the one of concern, at least on the surface. Uh, Roshan Johnson, a uh, heck of a back that not enough people talked about. It. And of course, Bijan Robinson, most likely the best in the business. Those two move on. Yeah, anytime you le- lose two guys who one is going to go in the first round, late first round of the NFL draft, the other one's probably going to go in the mid third, maybe early fourth round. And if he played anywhere else, like if he was the starting running back, he'd probably be a late second round pick. So you lose two top 10 guys at that position coming out into the NFL draft. It's hard. But the thing is, this is a great running back room. You just got Cedric Baxter, the number one running back coming in for this year. You have Jonathan Brooks, who was a high three-star recruit, but he's played a lot better than that on Texas. And if you watch the film, he should have been better, uh, higher than that coming out. You still have Keelan Robinson, who there was some smoke there that he might transfer. He decided not to so far. Uh, we'll see if that happens through spring practice. And then you also have um, Jaden Blue, high four-star recruit freshman from last year. We'll see how he does. Uh, there was also smoke there of him transferring. So there could be a possibility where one of those two guys, Keelan or um, Jaden Blue, transfers after spring practice. But there's a good chance you're going to have either a combination of – you're for sure going to have Cedric Baxter, Jonathan Brooks, and then a combination of probably Keelan Robinson and Jaden Blue toting the rock. And I think that's a really good running back room. 30, 25, and 15 carries between Brooks, Robinson, and Blue last season. So they got, uh, especially Jonathan Brooks, obviously, with five touchdowns, got uh, some meaningful playing minutes. Uh, Based on scouting reports, we've obviously seen very little out of these three guys. Who do you really like? What are their styles in terms of who's the slasher, who's the burner, who's the the guy that... uh, pushes between the tackles well I would say Jonathan Brooks to me I've said this on your channel before I think he's going to put up as good if not better numbers than Bijan Robinson when he gets his chance just because of the offensive line he um is going to be running behind this is a stacked offensive line from a stacked class from last year and a pretty good class this year so I think he will definitely be the starting running back he reminds me of a lot of Le'Veon Bell very slow but then when he finds the hole he hits it very hard he's pretty good at catching the ball out of the backfield Cedric Baxter, I haven't watched enough of, but I, from everything I've seen, pretty explosive guy. Jaden Blue is definitely more of the pass catcher. It wouldn't be sh- shocking to me if he catches a lot more balls this year than he rushes um, with. And then Keelan Robinson, everyone knows, kind of a do-it-all type of guy out of the backfield and catch the ball. He's really fast. The, his issue is his footing. He never can keep his feet. If he could keep his feet, he'd be one of the most explosive guys on this team. He always seems to fall in big moments, but he we like to use him in our um, double back sets in the backfield and throw to him a lot of the times or use him as a decoy. So that's where I think you'll see him being used. Folks, we ask that you would like the video, share the videos out on social media and subscribe right here at the Voice of College Football.